Good girl. When Shadow was rescued, she was found pregnant, tied to a sink, and left to starve. She was brought to the farm along with her litter of seven when they were 10 days old, so they could start their puppy program. She's a sweetheart towards humans, but had severe aggression tendencies towards other dogs. When she bit one of her puppies on the skull, we realised how significant her rehabilitation would need to be and we separated her from her puppies and started her rehab journey immediately. Due to some potential inbreeding, there were a few complications within the litter. One puppy in particular, Miss Violet, was born partially blind and deaf and suffered from a neurological disorder. We knew adoption was going to be a little bit more tricky for her than her siblings. She's not the type of dog that could be left at home while the owner goes to work. We were really concerned for her future. She would need a lot of extra care and attention. Hello. I don't think she can be with the others, babe. I think she's going to have to come in with us. You hear that? You want to come inside? You want to come inside? Can you sleep with the girls? We're, we're going to bring bring her inside. Is she going to sleep with me? Yeah. Can we keep her? <laughs> she was consistently picked on by her siblings, and because she couldn't see them to defend herself, she would become over aggressive and just lash out in every direction. We would often find her crying because she couldn't find us. Am I going to be a good pebble man? Mm -hmm. A good foster man? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. She was fine walking in a straight line, but as soon as you turn a corner, she'd lose you and would spin around in circles. Or she'd end up wedged against a tree or a fence crying. She'd find herself on top of a car with no way to get down. Oh my goodness, Miss Violet. Over the next few weeks, we saw her start to really develop. She was defying the odds. She was thriving. She was learning how to play nicely with the other dogs. She was no longer scared and aggressive. She loved getting involved with the daycare pack and would go full steam ahead until she needed a nap. I would hate to think what would have happened if she didn't come to the puppy program and wasn't given this opportunity at this young age to be taken in, socialised properly and be surrounded by such a positive pact to give her a fighting chance at a normal life. As her siblings began to get adopted out, it became clear to us what needed to be done. The perfect family might have been out there, but they weren't coming forward. 
The sort of family she would need for her forever home was ours. So we adopted her into our own pack. She won us all over on day one and quicker became one of the family. She knew we were her forever home before we did. She provides us with so much joy. We couldn't imagine life without her.